Hey, Jamie. Hi, guys. It's so good to see you. Thanks for hopping on. Thank you for having me. So, Jamie, you just finished your third big challenge. Was this how was this like really your one last fall just to throw myself in and see what would happen it was a free challenge okay. i used a lot of the stuff from you guys a lot of the guidance and help and had 60 people in it wow. this one this one you just had now feels like your first real official big challenge so tell us a little bit about it this was like for my business my purpose work my mission work um, this was something that I knew I was getting to the place. I'm 34 weeks pregnant as of today, yes. getting to the place where I'm like, I'm not going to be able to try to enroll clients every month and go out and try to get people every single month. I knew I had to up level my game as a business owner and becoming a mother. So I had watched you guys do this for years. I'm in your mastermind. I was in BizCraft. I've been part of my goodness, seven of your challenges. At least. <laughs> At least, right? Um, so I knew that this was, I had watched how successful this was and how successful you guys had made this. And it was kind of like, shit or get off the pot. I had to give it a go. I felt like I at least had to give it a go and see if this method worked for me. Awesome. So I dove in <laughs> and did just that. Uh, yeah, you sure did. And so over the last few months, we have been there for you to spot you, to guide you, to create trainings for you, and to really just help you get everything set up so that you have a successful planning period, a successful challenge, and then a successful kind of onboarding process after the challenge. Just last week, you were telling me about how you're going to go from right from the challenge into the programs. And I was like, no, you need to take a, a week off. So tell me a little bit about like, what have been the, the biggest tools or tips that you've gotten from me and Kit and, uh, and our whole team and the trainings that we've created for challenges? What's been like the biggest takeaways for you that have helped you with this challenge? And also tell us a little bit about like, well, how successful was it? Okay, some of the biggest takeaways that have helped the most was following the step-by-step -step procedures you guys placed in front of me in a timely fashion that I could go tackle, address, create, get going, automate, whatever it was. Being able to meet up with you guys, I'm in the mastermind, so I'm having access to you guys weekly, having my big strategy sessions with Kit. It really like set the whole thing up in, in structure. And for these events become so big and you need so much help that if you don't have it really organized out, it's going to get wild. <laughs> so I had the ability to meet with you guys regularly and every step you gave me, I did. I went and did, and I had you guys to soundboard off me. So I literally just took the template and ran with it, trusted you guys, leaned in that this was what I needed to do. And it probably took me about six to eight weeks of planning. And because I gave myself that much time, I was never overwhelmed. I was never stressed out. And to be 34 weeks pregnant and doing something like this, I could not be stressed out, tired, burnt out, exhausted, while currently also taking my clients and running my mastermind. You know what I mean? So this was something I did on top of all the work I'm doing now already. And because I was so, it was so organized and it was so right there in front of me, support, and you guys were there checking in on me, helping me weekly. It went very smoothly. Yay. So Jamie, for anyone who's thinking about joining one of the bigger programs, what would you say to them? The bigger programs are like for you guys after this challenge yeah. with them with that. Oh my God. It's the support system. It's getting access to you guys. It's like brainstorming, masterminding the, the weekly sessions of like tackling any block you have in your way and getting rid of it, you know, addressing it, meeting it head on regularly, the strategy, like, you know, if I didn't have that ability to lean into you guys and ask you all those questions and take yeah. up your time on those calls, like, I don't know if it would have gone this smoothly, you know, so it's access to you guys that is, was so helpful to me. So yeah, it sounds like it was a combination of at, like live access to us where you could kind of ask us exactly what you needed to know when you needed to know it, the step-by-step 
process and strategy. We even taught you kind of like the psychology behind which stories to tell at what times. And we gave you templates um, that you could literally just model after what we've done before and basically fill it in with your own content, and your own material, but follow the structure that we've created. Um, and that that helped you stay really organized and timely with putting it all together. That's amazing. I wish that we had something like that when we <laughs> were doing oh, our challenges. Right? Oh, all right. So tell us a little bit about what are you celebrating? What is the outcome of this challenge? But also tell us where you were before the challenge. Okay, so where I was before the challenge, I mean, I've had so much growth since joining Bizcraft and Coachery back in 2018. That mm -hmm. really kicked off my business. That really got me out there, out of the closet, out of the shadows. You know, so since then, I've been building my business up drastically with you guys. Mastermind was that um, your mentorship course was like that next level scaling step. Like, okay. We've got this going. This is successful. This has money coming in. There is an audience. There is clients. Now let's take it all to the next level. So I consider this part of like my scaling journey with you guys. Um, so since then, so when I'm almost a year in the mentorship with you guys, I made $30,000 more instantly last year than I would have not being in it. That was an instant number gratification right there. Um, and now already within the second month of just within the challenge I enrolled, it was a $30,000 challenge in enrollment. Oh that was like for the first big business challenge event that I put on, it was $30,000. And now I can breathe for a little bit, uh, mm -hmm. welcome my baby, and also get ready to double that on the next one. <laughs> so how many people did you get in the challenge total this time? Um, so paid coming in was 40 people. Okay. And then I, how many people afterwards would you say how many people what how many people sign up for for a bigger offer after the challenge nine so nine was, people I almost hit 30 per it was like um no it wasn't there I think if I had three more people with 30 percent so almost like like a quarter which yeah. is you can, you can only count on 10 percent of people signing up with you so if I'm hitting 25 percent off the mark enrolling into not just bigger packages my biggest package your first really like official challenge your first time really really doing this full on without that is refining amazing. it or having the systems in place just like putting them in six launching thirty thousand. that's awesome i never and then this is what we want to talk about a little bit is i really leaned in on community and i leaned in on my team i leaned in on my excitement my emotions for this i didn't send one email so zero newsletters, zero email marketing the entire time. And I didn't put any money into Facebook ads at all. Wow. And yeah. And just imagine like, Jamie, if you have two more challenges before the end of the year is, you know, I mean, you're, you're, you're going to be just fine. <laughs> what would you say? For people who are like, I don't have a team. How can I do this? What would you tell them? So that I didn't have a team either. <laughs> <laughs> they swarmed it around me and wanted to be part of this great experience. They had been in my mastermind and said, I'll try that out. And it was a massive up level for them. It was a huge up level for me. It was a huge up level for everyone coming in. So really it worked out for everyone. Everyone won. Yeah. So what you're telling me is you had pre-existing clients who saw you were doing a challenge and they said, I want to help. And then you had a team. Yep. Now I have a team. Now I pay eight people. Wow. wow, that's amazing. Oh and you didn't God. even have to send out a single email to do this. No. Wow. Because <laughs> it's all right there. I think it's a myth to people think, oh, I've got to have these millions of followers and I have to have all this audience and all this. No, I mean, if you really are aligned with the message you're putting out there and you really have service work that you want to support people with and something to showcase and share with the world and you just hone in on that over and over again, I think it's a vibration. It's a frequency. Yeah. And now the cool thing is, as we move forward, we're going to start building out every single layer of marketing with you. Like you start with one layer of marketing, then you refine it. And then you do the challenge again, you add another layer of marketing, you refine it, you automate it and another and another and another. And soon after a few rounds of these challenges, you have an entire freeway paved towards cash mm -hmm. and towards amazing clients. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and what really was helpful for me is that freeway. 
um, yes, like that free way to whoo, like not having all that pressure. But also here's the biggest takeaway that I got. It was like, if you're not doing something like this, then you're, there's no real invitation or offering to your people. This was a huge way to offer what I do. It was a great way to invite people. It gave them a longer bit of time than like reading a Facebook post about what I do. It was an yeah. experience and it allowed people to go, whoa, what is she doing? What are they doing? This is yeah. enough. I need in on this. So it was like, yeah. it was a huge like light bulb for me to say like, we're not offering our people deep or rich enough experiences to mm -hmm. see what you're doing over there. I mean, I was friends with you guys <laughs> and for three years and then joined one of your challenges. It's like, what are they doing? This is wild. I'm in and I'm your friend. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So I think it's like this, this challenge idea, this event idea is like, it's a deeper way to connect with people who are aligned with the work you're here to do. And yeah. then give them an, an invitation to stay on. Absolutely. And, you know, especially in the time of COVID where people are really, really needing that deeper connection and most of us can only really get it online right now. This is what we're being called to do as healers, as light workers, as people who have a mission and a message to share with the world. Like it is our responsibility to learn how to do it effectively online and build the momentum and that community in that sense on that platform because you know if we're not doing it online then um someone else is going to get on there and and do it so we might as well get our message up there as well and just call in our people in that way and so that i mean that's that's what we we really feel connected to doing is um teaching as many people as possible who have the same connection to their message as you do the same connection to wanting to help others as you do and helping them be as successful as possible with it it's really important work and you guys really showcased to me like how much fun this can be, yeah. how much of a world you can create for people in just a week. And then the magic of community behind that. I mean, the to be the one hosting for the first time ever and to get all the messages bombarding of like, I got three clients already. Two sales just came in. Oh my God, I just got the apartment. Da -da -da. And you're just like, ah! <laughs> take this to the group. Like I got to snapshot this. Like, I know it's so exciting energy. I mean, like it, it happens every single time and it's, it's amazing. I love it. You know, what else I love about it is, you know, the old method that they taught online was do an ad, hop on a call, close the client. But right now your clients, like you said, when you knew us back three years, back in the day, three years ago, you had no idea the magic we were creating you needed an easy and affordable way mm -hmm. to experience it to go, oh my gosh. And yeah. like the the video sales letter to a call, it just I mean it's it's, it's fine. It works for, for, some for people. like one person at a time. Yeah, but, but this is this is scalable. Mm -hmm. Not only is it scalable, but you're really calling people in with community, with yeah. experience and with transformation. And these clients will stick with you for life. It's true. You're building, you're building foundational level relationships that will just continue to grow and blossom. And yeah, we're so proud of you, Jamie. So, so, so proud of you. So excited for you and your family. Um, I love you just so, so, so much. And I'm really looking forward to helping you scale them even more this year. So I can't wait. That's what I'm really excited about because as the Capricorn that I am, I was watching this process like a bird's eye view and yeah. in the head going, oh, we'll fix that for the second one. Yeah, oh, we're gonna exactly. do that. And not even the fixing, like to be able to talk to you also, Rosie, the whole time and be like, okay, the text option, number option on the click funnel is great, but I don't think I can handle that right now why don't we talk about that for the next round? You know, like little things like that, where just like scaling, like what do I have the time and energy for? Oh, that can be part of the next round. I'll do Facebook ads next time. Yep. That was really helpful too. Yep. Yeah, and I don't even think you'll need Facebook ads next time yet either, but we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> We're here for it all. <laughs> all right, I know you have a call. So I just, I just moved it back a little bit. So if there's anything else you want to ask me, I'm here for you. Pause okay. one second. So that one is, is one that I want to use during the challenge for our challenge launch. Um, 
or like at the end when we do a pitch, we'll do a recording testimonial, pop it out. Will you do a quick little testimonial for our, um, for our funnel? So that's what she, I, that's, that's bottom. What she was that's meant to be doing. I know, but then it just got so good that I was like, we'll use it here. So I elaborated. But if you just do a quick one, like a quick like. 30, 40 second one about before I work with them. Now I'm doing a challenge. This is what's changed. And we'll I think we could in. probably also use stuff from what we just recorded as well. True. But yeah, we could do, yeah, maybe just do like a summary, just like a quick summarize and we'll pop it, you know, like the, the one, the one to two minute summary. Um, I know it's going to feel a little bit repetitive, but yeah. is it okay? Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay, cool. Um, Ask me a question to start kick that off. So, so who you are, where you were before the challenge method, where you are now, and what, like, what, like, why people should do the launch or challenge boot camp. And so, and I can, I can start you off. Um, okay, so let me stop the recording here, and then we'll start.